Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to create a video with Canva. Canva is usually used, and most people know it as a way to create graphics, but you could actually make videos and edit videos completely online using Canva without downloading any software. So I typically show you tutorials how to make videos using ton of different softwares that I've covered and a lot of graphic design tools with Canva, but this is gonna focus on making and editing videos right on Canva. And if it's your first time here, if you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe and press the notification bell. I post these type of tutorials that walk you through everything you need to know about different softwares, especially for content creation every single day. Let's jump in and make and edit our video with Canva. So click the link below in the description to come to this website. And I already created an account for myself, just a free account here. And I'll explain the difference between the free version of Canva and the paid version. For this video, we'll just focus on the things that are in the free version. Once you land on Canva here, it's going to show you the video tab. And there's also a Canva app, but for video, I definitely recommend using the website here. And videos will show you a bunch of different types of videos only because all videos are not the same size. So traditional HD video, for example, is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels, right? It's horizontal. This is sort of the shape of movies that you watch. But for Facebook, it's more like a square shape, right? 1080 by 1080. And nowadays there are vertical videos for TikTok and for Instagram Reels and Snapchat Spotlight, ton of other places make videos vertically. So that's 1080 by 1920. The great thing with Canva is you don't have to know any of that because you just look at the video tab or search for the type of video you wanna make and you just select one of them. For the sake of this video, I'll just choose the standard video that most videos are, which is 1920 by 1080. Select it. And for almost all the videos that you choose, this is what they look like. This is what your page will look like. The video will go here in the middle and you usually have this thing on the bottom, which is a timeline. Now the difference between all the video editors, and I've made videos on almost all of them on this channel, versus the way Canva edits videos is Canva is designed more like, again, a graphics page where every video clip is considered also a page. So I'm gonna refer to it as a video clip, but if you look down here, they call it pages. So I'll explain more as we go. So how do we add a clip right here? Well, there's a couple of ways. You could upload your own. There's the upload tab, and then there's a video tab here too. So we'll work around these tabs a lot. We'll jump between all of them. By default, it always lands on the template page because it's really asking you to use a template to make your video, which makes it a lot easier, honestly, if you choose one of these templates. I'll just give you an example. I'll click one of them, okay? And then it gives you a bunch of templates that look like that. But if I select one of them, look at this. It just puts that right here as a video for me. And if I wanna preview that video, all I have to do is press this play icon right here and it plays it for me. So it showed me this animated video clip, right? And then I could add more clips based on this template. So I could press the plus sign. It creates a new blank page for me and I could put this one there, right? So now I have clip one, clip two. Again, they're calling it page one and page two but it's interchangeable here on Canva, what those mean. And again, I could press play, and this time it will play the first five second clip and it will cut to the next five second clip, right? You don't have to worry about any of that. And you could edit the text. You just jump in, double click, edit the text, edit this text, anything you don't like, maybe you don't like this, press delete and replace it with your own. Really, really simple. But I want to show you how to create something from scratch but it is always good to look at templates to see if they have what you're looking for. So let's go ahead and undo this a couple of times. This is the undo option right up here, which is very helpful. To create a video from scratch, you could upload your own and you could bring in videos from this video tab. Let's go to the video tab first. This kind of works like templates, except they're just pre-made videos that somebody else shot that you could use. A lot of them are free. So if you look on there, Right here, it says free, but some are paid. So when you do go through them, you'll sometimes see a crown option. So let me go to the business one to see if I could show you that. See, this one says Canva Pro. So you could either buy this video clip, just this one, or you could upgrade to Canva Pro and pay a monthly fee. And it opens up 
60 million different types of graphics and images and elements that you don't have access to with the free one. But you do have a lot with the free one too. So let's say we find a video clip we like. Just for the sake of this video, I'll choose this one. Press it and right when you click it, it brings it over here to your edit. Okay, so this is your very first clip. Starts at zero seconds, beginning of your video. But you could see that it doesn't quite fit, right? It's a little bit smaller. So how do you make it fit? You just grab the corners and then snap it to the edges of your canvas here. Another way to do that is you could go ahead and right click on it and set it as a video background. And that makes it perfectly fit the background so you don't have to stretch it out. And typically the videos are my background. So that's what I do instead of trying to get it perfectly with a stretch on the corners. Again, to preview, always press this and you get a good preview of this. So the very first step I always do with videos is I always tell my story with multiple different clips. I never go and add text and try to add music. Those all will happen later and I'll show you that towards the end of the video. But right now, we need to go ahead and trim our first clip, right? Because maybe this is too long. So if you select the clip to trim it, all you have to do is come over here and press this icon right here. And what this lets you do is change where the clip starts. So maybe I want to start a little bit later and where a clip ends. So you can see it gives you a nice preview over here and it gives you a nice duration too. If you look on this side, now that clip is three and a half seconds. If I keep going, it could be longer or it could be shorter. So that's how you decide how you should edit your clip by changing where it starts and where it ends. I'm gonna press done. Now, sometimes you are going to want to crop clips. Now with cropping, they can't be set as a background. So I have to detach it. I right clicked here and detached the video. So now I could go ahead and crop it. So when I press crop, I could just grab the corners and maybe I want it to be like this. And then you could press done. You see it cropped it this way. But I usually don't do this when I'm creating a video for fitting the background anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that. But cropping does come in handy. I'll set it back as my video background. So that's trimming your clip. This is cropping your clip and you could flip your clip. So sometimes you're going to want to flip things and animation. We'll talk about animation in a little bit. And when your clip has sound attached to it, this is the option for that. So you could go ahead and mute that clip or if you're talking through that clip, leave it as is. So we need to now bring in our own clip. This is how you bring in clips from what Canva gives you. But I'm going to add another page or clip. So come down here. We're happy with this first one. Let's press the plus sign. It's going to create our next page for us. And in this case, we're going to upload. So press upload. And I've already uploaded some images before, but I'm going to go to the video tab and it says drag here from your computer. Or you could press upload media. I'll press upload. And it says you could upload from any one of these like Google Drive, but I'm going to do device. That just means my computer here. And I already put some clips over here that I shot with a drone that I'm going to bring in. So if you hold down command or control, you could select multiple. So I'm going to select a bunch of different clips and press enter. And just like that, it's going to take a second to bring all of them into Canva here. Right. So now, just like before, to add a clip, all I have to do is press on it. I'll click it and it adds it right here and it'll give you a nice preview. So here's the clip. And just like the other clip I mentioned, you could go ahead and you can trim it. So you could click this option right here and change where it starts. Again, it's going to give you a nice preview over here and where it ends. Maybe it goes, maybe I'll just end it right here. Okay, so 12 seconds, press done. And now that I like the edit, I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and set it as my background. Right. So now it's my background. Again, anytime I want to preview it, I could press this and it will preview my whole project for me. So I'll go ahead and press the plus sign down here Add the next clip. Go ahead and trim this one, change where it starts, change where it ends or whatever I need to do with it. Press done. And then I would just keep going. Right. You just keep creating these pages, adding new video clips, importing new ones if you need to using ones from the video page. You could also make backgrounds like these default backgrounds. Let me select one of them right here as your background on a clip here. Now, this is not going to move. This is just a stationary picture here, 
but you could add animated text on top of it, right? So it doesn't always have to be a video clip. It could be these type of backgrounds that you could find in this folder too, or in this tab. Anytime you want to delete a page or a clip, you come down here, press these three dots on that clip. You could duplicate it. You could add a page, which is just a plus sign I showed you, or just delete it. And it just gets rid of that clip. And you could change the order of the clips down here. Super simple. So if you didn't tell your story the way you want to, and then you decide, oh, the sunset here should be the very first clip, you could go ahead and drag it. Or the very last clip, you could go ahead and drag it. Really, really easy to use. And let me show you this other view. If you hide the section on the bottom, the timeline, nothing actually is different about the way you'll work. It's kind of just laid out a little bit differently. So if I scroll up, my clips are just laid out like this. So page one, that's clip one, page two, and page three. So I could always just keep going and adding pages this way instead of using the timeline. So I hid the timeline because I know a lot of people rather work this way if they're not an editor. Now I'm used to timelines because I edit and every editing software has that kind of a timeline on the bottom, but in some cases will work this way. So let's say we're done with our edit here and we wanna now add some elements and text. So we'll start with text. I'll go back to the first page here. We'll use the timeline to go back to this page and click the text tab right here. And with text, it's really, really easy because most of the time you just select one of these and it will appear here and you edit it. And heading is a common one, so I'll choose that one. And he adds this text here. And when he adds it, if I just go ahead and press delete on it, I could type my own, right? I could just type my own text and I could select this text now just with my mouse and I could change the font or pretty much do anything you could do with text in any program, right? Font size, font color, alignment here and you have text effects too, like drop shadow is really useful. So I'll choose that or lift here is called and I'll put it right over here, right? So that's how you would add text on any of your video clips. And let me go ahead and click right here. You could also animate. So let me show you animate here. And if you scroll over some of these, you could see how the text will animate in. Now, these are really, really easy to use. So I'll choose this one just to show you. There you go. So you saw how that added it. So you could change the animation, but this is per page. So whatever you did to this page is not gonna happen to this page. So you'll have to do this per page. So that's adding text and animating the text and changing the style of text, really simple. And then you have the elements. I love elements because you get really nice pre-designed animated elements. So I'll show you, for example, subscribe. If you search for something like this or really anything should show you some results you get these type of animated icons. So I'll choose this and look at that. It's gonna animate just like that. I could shrink it down and put it right here. Let's say I was making a YouTube video and I want this to appear. And actually, let me delete it. I'm gonna add it to the last clip, right? I'll put it at the end. So I'll shrink it down and bring it to this corner. So now it will animate like this as this clip plays. So if I just preview and jump to the end here, and press play as this is playing this is animating in the corner so this is putting a couple of different clips on top of each other technically and you have ton of options so definitely explore this element section you have shapes you could add these animated stickers you have charts you could just add things that are not animated on top of your video right you could just add like sticker elements like this and they will appear on whatever clip you put it on so between text and elements, you could really stylize everything you like. And you could also bring in photos. So you could go to the photo tab and click on a photo and resize a photo and put it on top of your video. So this is kind of a picture in picture effect where you could have multiple different pictures on top of your video here. And let me just preview that just to show you what that looks like. There we go. So. You could do something like this with your video clip too. And usually the very last thing I do is I go and I add audio. So if you go to the audio tab and by audio, I mean music. Usually your clip will have audio if you're talking, but if you're doing voiceover that you record it sound separate, you will upload that as an audio file here. But in this case, I'm gonna show you how to use music here and I'll use some of the pre-existing music. So again, if you have Canva Pro, you could get the ones that have the pro icon on it or the free ones could just be clicked on and it will add it right here to my clip. So I'm just gonna mute it, but you can see it's playing right here throughout my edit. And if you collapse the timeline here, let me just show you, you could click this grid view 
and it's going to show your project this way too so you could still move things around if you hit the timeline like i did here and still add pages from here too so this is kind of your timeline view just expand it to be a little bit bigger to move things around easier so i'll go ahead and close that up and the music is playing now right so if i export this it will export with the music track now the big thing canva is missing right now is it doesn't have really transition between clips so you can't transition between one clip you just are going to have that cut that i showed you between clips so hopefully they add transitions and they're very limited on what you could do with audio editing for your video so i just added music but i can't really do a whole lot to the music track but they are updating this all the time so maybe by the time you watch this there'll be some clear editing option for audio they've added a ton of new options just in the last few months to how the video tab works and before we're done let me show you this last option here if you press full screen present mode right here there's actually an option right here where you could present this right here open presenter view let me show you what that looks like you could actually present this so if you're sharing your screen for example it's going to let you present it like this so it's like a powerpoint presentation in a way if you wanted to present this way now i don't like to do it this way because this doesn't really show the video the way i want but it is definitely an option that's available on canva and i know a lot of people don't know about it yet so how do we actually export and download this file now as a video well i could just press download right here this arrow will let me download it as an mp4 video which is the most common video online and in fact offline too so you choose this and number of pages so you want all of them all but that's basically already all your clips so it doesn't matter how many you have here you could press download and it will just take a second it will compress it and put it on your computer's hard drive and you could from there post it anywhere you want send it to anyone you want if it's a big file put it on google drive and share a link you have lots of options at this point after it's exported and now that it's done exporting i could go ahead and just preview it and i forgot to actually title my project so i definitely recommend right here up here it says untitled design you could put in your own title here so when it exports it actually has a name but let me press play and i won't play the whole thing but you get the idea here the music is going to be with it the length of the video is going to be exactly the same length that you set up over here based on your clips you're all set and you could also press these three dots right here and you could share it with a link so you don't always have to actually export it and send it that way you could share it with a link that was the present mode i showed you so there's a bunch of useful options for sharing under this this is for downloading if you want to post it somewhere like facebook or youtube i hope you found this useful please give it a thumbs up subscribe for easy to follow videos like this posted every single day and i'll see you next time